Oh, you look confused. Yo guys, what is going on? Zaces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what happened with reserves. Now guys, the game has been out a while, and honestly, I'm pretty thankful this didn't happen earlier. But, we're pretty far into the game's life cycle now, and we have now finally seen reserve crates turn into the awful dreaded supply drop pay to win. So, guys, there are four weapons now in reserve crates, and that is the Ballistic Knife, the Peacekeeper, the Locust Sniper Rifle. These are all previous weapons from previous games, and then we have the new Tactical Rifle. So, I'm going to go over what I see here just from my perspective and tell you what I think is happening. So, we have this new Community Challenge, which everybody's going to see right away. And everybody's not going to know about, you know, some of the things that happen to reserves because not everybody reads the patch notes and all the stuff that comes with the new update. So, obviously, they're probably going to make a little announcement in their little main screen that pops up right when you log in. So, everybody's going to find out eventually. But we have these weapon bribes now, and that is probably the main way people are going to start finding this out. So in reserve crates, as I just said, you can get those four weapons now, and obviously you have to pay for reserve crates. You can also get them by unlocking them just through playing here. You got your cases um, just through playing multiplayer and blackout. But I really think there's some shady marketing going on here. So they want people to get these weapons. So they want people to, you know, get them somehow, and you got... You know, you can play for them, which is a grind, and not everybody has time. You can pay for your time by buying reserve crates, or you can just not worry about it. Get maybe one of them through the contraband stream, play like one game a day, and you get your free weapon crate um, by getting your daily tier skip. So, a couple different things. Um, so, they want people to play the game more to get free crates so they have more people on their game. And that will hence lead to the completion of this community challenge. This community challenge is kind of that incentive to play more and, you know, kind of get back into your reserve crate addiction. This community challenge is 100%, in my opinion, just a cover up for what they actually did here. They're giving us a free weapon, but they put four weapons in the reserve crates. Now you're getting the free weapon from tier 25 in your contraband stream, and you're also getting the new sniper rifle in tier 50. So you're getting three new weapons for free if you play long enough, maybe one from the reserve crates that you get by playing. But there's still the fact that there are four new weapons in reserve crates, which you have to purchase or play a lot. The odds of you getting a weapon from a drop are going to be super slim. So... They're going to start pumping out these bundles that have reserve crates in them. So they have this bundle here, five reserve crates. They have the one in the shop right now at eight reserve crates. Guys, this is 2,000 cop points. That's $20 for this bundle. It's basically $11. And for each crate, it's $2. And you're only getting... Um, Bombs no more. I don't know if these crates, if you get three cases, which each have three items, or if it's three cases, one item a piece. Um, I believe it's the um last one i said where you get three cases of one item a piece you're only it's still the two dollars per three items that it's always been in the last how many games since like advanced warfare so this is a problem because they you know said they weren't going to do this in this game they they say a lot of things but you know it happens so obviously is it pay to win yes and no up until this point, it has not been pay to win besides being able to skip all the contraband tiers. But now that there is exclusive weapons in reserve crates only, I'm guessing their defense is that everybody can get reserve crates through, you know, game progression. But that takes so much time. And honestly, it does sound like pay to win again. So is Call of Duty pay to win again? Yes, I would have to say 100%. It's not as bad as it used to be, especially with like Advanced Warfare and variants. Weapon variants was such a big problem. ASM1, speak easy. Enough said. If you guys play the game, you know what that weapon is. Absolutely shredded. So I would say it's not as bad as it used to be. But to get some of the cooler weapons that... Activision knows we all want, we all want the Peacekeeper again. When the Peacekeeper came out in all the other games for the next time around, I wanted it. It's just one of those guns that's really dope. So, guys, that's my thought on the new reserve system, pay to win, all the weapons. Let me know what you think. Is the Grav a cover-up, the Galil? I think it's a cover-up just to kind of hide the things that they did behind the back door, which is, you know, the four new weapons in the crates. 
and you know the weapon bribes now so let me know what you think if you do agree with anything have different opinions anything like that leave a comment drop a like all that good stuff subscribe if you're new tons of black ops 4 content guys if you are a subscriber of mine you're still listening any of you new guys around here i just located my shoulder so gonna be off work for a while and that means lots of call of duty content to come on the channel summer vibes are back man not in the best way happening but we are gonna get back into it man a lot of call of duty blasting some people in blackout blasting them in multiplayer so stick around for that drop a sub that little button down there subscribe it's a red button it's beautiful click that for me we're gonna be doing some awesome content this summer so guys hopefully you stick with me but that is one of the longest outros i've ever done so leave a like on the video if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new check out the sponsors and equipment i use in the description below that's all i got i'm out guys have a good one